in this video i am going to show you how you can simply use the masking and the grouping feature in allied motion all right as you can see here are my layers um i designed this in allied motion as you can see so right now i have up to um one two three four five six seven i have up to seven layers so let me click on this particular one here so guys then i'll click on this move and transform so i just want to take this away so you can see what i did here as you can see all right so this is basically what i did so let me just undo it all right so right now let's say i want to we will start with grouping all right i want to start with grouping then after grouping i am going to move into max 10 all right so i have up to seven layers now and let's say i want to group all this layer together all right i want it to be in just one layer so i can simply eliminate it or had anything i want to add to it so it is very very simple to do all right so just tap on every layer where the arrow is showing so i'm going to start from the beginning i'll tap and hold on it then i'm going to tap and hold on this 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 and this so once you tap and hold on it you are going to tap on this particular place where the arrow is showing for you to group so i'm going to tap it now all right so guys, as you can see, we have this as just one layer. So before we have many layers, we have up to seven layers. But right now that we have grouped it, we have only one layer. And this particular layer now, you can simply add any effect you want to add to it. So as an example, let's say I want to uh, animate this particular um, design now. So it is very, very simple. So at the beginning, let me add a keyframe. I'll add a keyframe and at exactly one seconds, or let me say two seconds, I've had a keyframe. Then I'll go back to the starting point where I added my first keyframe. So let's say I want this to be coming from here. All right. So if I didn't group this, it won't be possible like this. That is the power of grouping in highlight motion. All right. So I want it to be coming from there and i want it to be going like this i want it to stop here all right so let's play this and let's see how it looks all right guys as you can see so that's the power of grouping so imagine i didn't group this there's no way i can simply do it all right i'll just i'll just be doing it one by one and it will take lots of my time and it might not be perfect all right so another thing you can simply do on the grouping is that once you tap on the group you can click on this edit group all right so in this particular place right now we can simply change anything you want to change let's say you want to change the color let me change the color of this this cap i'll click on this color so let me just change the color to any color i want as you can see then let me go back so this is it it will apply to the layer that's the fact in that's that's one of the things i love about grouping anything you change if you want to change anything you can simply change it let me just add something to it if you want to add anything maybe a text or anything you can simply add it all right it all depends on you so let me just write anything here let me just place it um somewhere here and let me go back you will definitely see it there all right as you can see as you can see this is it that's the text all right so um that's how we can simply use grouping in allied motion it is very very simple to use all right so let's move to maxing masking so i'll just delete this then i will add uh let me add a video let me go to my kind master and add a video any video at all all right so um let me add this all right guys so as you can see here is the video so this particular video was the video tutorial i did yesterday so if you want to learn how you can simply create this particular video i'm going to leave uh the link in the comment section for you to watch the particular video tutorial on how you can simply create this particular video all right so that's not what we are here for i want to quickly show you how you can simply group in allied motion all right so let's say i want to add the shape let me click on this plus icon then let me add a circle shape here's a circle shape and let me just click on move and transform and increase the size 
so here is the shape now as you can see all right so right now let's say i want to max these two together let me adjust it let's say i want to max this my video and this shape together it is very very simple all right so i'll just tap on the shape then i'm going to tap on my video then i'll click here where the arrow is showing i'll tap on it as you can see right now my video is inside the circle that is the power of maxing in allied motion all right so as you can see now my video is inside the circle and anything outside the circle have disappeared all right so let's say i want to change the particular video that is inside the circle it is very very simple to do just tap on the group all right then you click on this edit group all right then you tap on the video you want to change i'll tap on this video that's the first video we added then i'll click on this color so you click here where the arrow is showing i'll tap on it then i'll wait for it to load all right so this is it so right now you can simply choose any video you want to use so i'll just tap on this video then i'll click on this plus icon here all right guys so here's the video right now as you can see all right then if i go back it will definitely change as you can see all right guys so this is the end of this video tutorial i have another video that will show you how you can simply create amazing food menu promo in allied motion so click on the video that is showing you on your screen right now to watch the particular step-by-step -step video all right guys i will see you in my next video tutorial